Hi, it's Dana from the Dow of Dana, and I am here today with Bob, and we are going to talk about a karma cleanse, cleansing and changing your karma. What does that mean? Uh, to be very simple, karma is a philosophy. It's uh, an Eastern philosophy that explains, and this is something that physics actually supports in various ways, that all the causes that you make have effects, reactions. So for every action, there's a reaction. And um, in physics, it's an equal and opposite reaction. So in this theory of karma, it basically states that everything, every cause you make has an effect. So the life that you're living right now is an accumulation. It's a mirror, if you will, of past things that you've said or done or thought. Um, all of your experiences made manifest now. Now you might say, well, I have some things happening right now. I don't know how or what I did to deserve them. Whatever is in your karma, according to the philosophy of karma, we don't know what that is. Um, their karma accumulates over lifetimes, according to this theory. So we don't necessarily know every single thing and why it's happening that we're experiencing right now. So I don't want you to get too heady about it. But the thing about karma that everyone agrees with in this Eastern philosophy is that you can change your karma, you can transform your karma, and you can move forward in life, living a better life, if you change your thoughts, your words, and your actions. So your thoughts, words, and actions are what creates your life. So if you wanna change your life, change your thoughts, change your words, and change your actions. Now this is not just about changing your life, it's about changing all of our lives. I just had the privilege of listening to an amazing Buddhist lecture by Reverend Natsui in Los Angeles, and he spoke about how when you put a drop of water in the ocean, it ceases to be a drop of water. You don't think of it as a drop of water anymore. If you put a drop of water in the ocean, you would think of it as the ocean. <laughs> you wouldn't even think about it anymore. You wouldn't be wondering what happened to that drop of water. It would be the ocean. That's generally how we conceive of things. If you pour extra water into a glass, you don't think of the extra water. You just think of it now as more water in the glass. It's all one water. Uh, same thing goes for a lot of other parts of life, but when it comes to our existence, we tend to think of ourselves as separate. Like, I'm me, you're you, Bob is him. <laughs> um, he doesn't think of himself as <laughs> separate. <laughs> but we're all connected. In fact, I'm so connected to Bob that if something is going on with me, I see it mirrored in him. And we are all connected, and that's something else that's been scientifically proven. So here's a really fascinating experiment and phenomenon. It's called the butterfly effect. If you've heard of it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, this is a fictitious example. But the butterfly effect explains how a butterfly flapping its wings, let's just say in California, has an effect upon the weather patterns in Australia or in Africa or someplace very far away. That's how much we're all, every single living being, has an impact upon everything that's happening in this universe. So if you think that things are too big and humanity's problems are too big and you can't do anything about it, every single bit of science proves that you can. Every single bit of this philosophy of karma proves that you can. Every single bit of many other philosophies proves that you can if you start by changing your thoughts, your words, and your actions. Change the effects change the effects that you're experiencing by changing the causes that you're making. So without beating yourself up, without being hard on yourself, try a little karma cleanse. Start simple, start with your thoughts. Just spend a week catching yourself and shifting when you're not thinking about something that's helpful or when you're feeling resentful or when you're feeling whatever it is. Just shift to something different shift to something higher and lighter and more fun um, and happier. I've made a whole video on focusing on what you want because it's so, so important. I'll link it below. Also, um, then now that your, th your thoughts, of course, you have so many of them, there's so many you can't possibly remember each and every thought that you have, that's fine. You don't need to monitor every thought you have. Just consciously, Put good thoughts out into the world. 
shift toward what you want. Now, your words, just think before you speak. Spend a week mindfully thinking about what you're saying before you blurt it out of your mouth. That is big, especially when you're on social media and you're just tempted to just go, blah, 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 that's not true, or blah, 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 how could you say that? <laughs> Stop yourself and just, no, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to think first. I'm going to be mindful of how these words affect other people and that we may not all agree, but we're all in this together. Big deal, words. For the next week, actions. Look at the actions that you're taking. In fact, you can even write down for a week all the things that you're doing, uh, all the things. I spend, just do one day even of just tracking how you spend your time. You might be amazed at how much time you spend surfing the internet, watching Netflix, going to do random time-wasting stuff. And when I say time-wasting, meaning you're feeling bored and you're just doing things to fill a gap, you don't need to do that. There's so many ways you could change your actions so that you're doing things that you really love, that you're engaged with. And often we say, well, I don't have time to do those things. But if you do a little time inventory, you might be surprised at how much time you find that you can do things. For years, I've been saying, oh, I wanna do yoga every single day. Um, and unless I just kind of faked it and did my own yoga, I couldn't do a real yoga class every single day because it just never works. But I was making this excuse forever and then I realized I could do yoga streaming on my computer at night before bed and I have no excuse not to do it for at least 15 or 20 minutes, sometimes for an hour, sometimes for an hour and a half, whatever fits. But I almost always now do this because I made the time. You will make the time, you will find the time. All you need to do is make it a priority. So actions, actions, actions. Do things that also lift other people up. This is the best, fastest, most awesome way to change everything because just like the butterfly flapping its wings has an effect on people really far away, all those awesome things that you're doing on a daily basis really do reverberate out into the world in so many ways that we don't even understand or comprehend, but I've heard it in Buddhism, I've heard it in other philosophies, I've heard it in other religious practices, I've heard it over and over and over again, and until I started actively doing it, really working on what I can give, how I can help, how I can make someone's day, that changes every single thing in the world around you. So karma cleanse, thoughts, words, actions equal a much, much, much brighter, easier, more flowing, more awesome in every single way life. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I am so, so excited to hear from you. Uh, Chinese New Year is coming soon. I'm gonna make a Chinese New Year's video soon the year of the rooster that's coming, the red rooster. Um, I'm very excited. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.